Hello from Kuala Lumpur. You want to start a video going up a hill? <laughs> yeah. I'll start again. Hello from Kuala Lumpur. We've been here about a week now. We're starting to explore a little bit beyond the main tourist strip. So today we have taken a train and we're walking for another half an hour to get to the Thian Ho Temple. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce that. It's a Chinese Buddhist temple. Pictures of it look amazing. It looks like a really large complex. We're exploring to go check that out and we have to walk up this really large hill. We are walking here and thinking, oh, it should be right in front of us. Must have come the wrong way. And then realized it's right through these trees. It looks massive. It also looks like it's gonna start pouring rain at any moment, so it's a good thing we arrived when we did. Wow, this is quite the entrance. But so much for being off the beaten tourist track. <laughs> to go to China. The artistry on the roof and the walls is fantastic. I've never seen carvings like this. Like these are all 3D carvings when usually they're very shallow reliefs or just paintings. So this is phenomenal. This temple is free Wi Fi. No way. Yeah, uh, signals a bit weak. There it goes. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, there's trees growing on the temple. This is a Chinese Buddhist temple. It was opened in 1989, so it's not actually that old, and it looks amazing. Every carving, every painting looks so fresh. Very vivid colors in this building. Look at the details in this carving. Got a phoenix here, a dragon up there. The intricacies of these carvings are just so fascinating. Oh, 
I was really hoping it would rain while we were in there. Not when we need to walk back. That temple was well worth the walk to come see. Very different than anything we've seen so far in Kuala Lumpur. And now we're gonna walk back a different way. We're not gonna take the train this time, but we're gonna go through an area called Little Brickfields, or Little India Brickfields. It's just an area with lots of shopping and restaurants. Looks like we're in the right place. So colorful in this neighborhood. When this was 180, this was 180. Oh, this is 220, I think. Oh, yeah. What have you got? We're trying this dessert. I'm not really sure what it is, but it was one pint. Mm. Oh, it's, it's like a curry ball. Mm. No? It's sweet. It's sugar. It's very good. Mm. Nice. Really good. Seeing a snack for less than a dollar, huh? Mm -hmm. What a majestic chicken. Hello, cockadoodle-doo. It's posing. Wow, cool. I've never seen anything like this. Pretty. We basically just stumbled upon this temple. I have no idea what it's called. We just saw it in the distance and thought, oh, we should check that out because we have some time. And uh, yeah, this is one of the most incredible temples I have ever seen, definitely. Everything on this building is carved. Everything. Ah, the rain has arrived finally, and our shoes are outside, getting wet. He is even on the roof. And this one's tail is coming up all the way along the roof and out the ceiling. Ah, uh, yep, there's that 100% rain. <laughs> Carl always insists on walking in the rain no matter how heavy it is. We got our soaking wet shoes back on that we had to take off outside to go into the temple. And we're gonna squish our way home in wet shoes for half an hour in the pouring rain. This is 
kind of a random meal that we've got in here. <laughs> this is a Christmas special. Yes, this, this is a Christmas obviously. special for two to three people. It costs 35 ringgit, which is about... It's almost exactly 10 million. Yes, awesome. We've got um, fried chicken. We've got chicken wings under there. And then we've got coleslaw. Oh, that's cool. oh is that wow. Cold? Amazing. Then we've got spaghetti over here and squid rings over here with fries and then we've also got mushroom soup. So this is a really good deal actually. That's awesome. It mm -hmm. is. Yeah. I had a free treat, looks like a pie. Cute. The uh, waitress was flirting with me. Yeah, I had that with a coffee in the morning. That's a good idea. We managed to make it back to the area of our hostel despite the rain. I'm loving the diversity of all the things to do in Kuala Lumpur. Like we were just walking down the street and came across that Hindu temple right after seeing a magnificent Chinese Buddhist temple. So you'll never know what you're gonna come across in this city and I, I really love that. Uh, it's so multicultural, so beautiful. Everything is just adorned so beautifully. It's like the whole city is basically a work of art.